Oh man, what's going on? I don't know what kind of lighting this gonna be like, but we're gonna try it out. Let me move this back a little bit. What's going on, guys? This is your boy B Dot. I wanna wish you all a Merry Christmas. You know, today is uh, Christmas Eve, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just hanging around the crib right now, uh, getting to all my family festivities tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So I just got everything together here. Had me a couple of drinks, man, trying to enjoy this Christmas Eve. So today I figured I would do something a little bit different. You know, showcase my little fish tank in the back. You know, you guys can see I got I got tilapia, I got whiting, uh, salmon. You guys wanna make some salmon croquettes, nigga, fillet some whiting. You know, we got all that for you. Piranha, as you see right over here, I probably got some catfish over here floating around. You know, we got it all over here, man. You know what I'm saying? Real big time, real high octane. But yeah, man, today real quick, I just wanted to come at you guys, man, give you this quick beer product unboxing, if you want to call it that. Um, I've actually had this company before. The company's called The Man Shop. And they sent me some products a while ago. I wasn't able to do anything with the products at the time because I had just cut off my beer, etc. You know, so as I'm growing it back now and I'm getting some uses for things like beard oil and beard balms and beard washes. Of course, I'm not using too many beard balms right now, but I'm still using beard washes and beard oils. And the Man Shop is a really, really cool company. I've done a few reviews on a few of their scents a while ago. They got some really, really nice cologne type of smells and scent profiles to their products. Um, the company actually started off as like a solid cologne company where they did a lot of solid colognes. Then they branched off into the beard products and they also do room sprays and candles. So they're all about smell. So you already know what kind of smell you're gonna get from the beard products. You know, if you're talking about solid colognes and candles. So you're gonna get that Yankee candle type of scent profile from a lot of their products. I pulled up their website right fast, man, because I wanted to read off a couple things. We took the power of the ancient plant-based oils like marula, argan, and jojoba oil and avocado and made them into awesome beard taming skin moisturizing balms and oils now you know if you got some ancient as they say ancient plant-based oils you know it must be good if it's ancient it didn't say current it said ancient now of course i will put all the links in the description so you guys can go check out this company but again i'll put a card up above so you guys can go check out the few videos that i've done on the man shop you guys will definitely love this company. They actually sent me a while ago, this was like back when it was summer, they sent me out a prototype and I told them it was a really good product, a really good smelling product. Um, not saying they just took my advice on that and just made it, but they made it and it's called the Bay Scent, B-A-E. I love everything about a Bay Rum scent and they really, really knocked it out the park. So, sent out little bags like this. And in this bag right here, I got the, uh, Balm, and I got an oil. Now the oil is a one ounce oil. Man, it's a really, really different Bay Rum scent, but you still pick up the Bay Rum. It still smell like a beachy kind of, you know, at the beach, you know, suntan lotion, you know, pina coladas and all that kind of stuff. It definitely puts you in the mood of a summery type of breezy type of smell to it. I really like it. I told them last time with their last bottles, the only thing I didn't really like about it is the fact that they don't use limiter droppers on the top or dropper tops. Now, you might actually sell the droppers separate, but it's just an open hole in this bottle. So if you're not careful, you will spill it, you know, drop it on the ground, you're done. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only knock I will have on it. But other than that, it smells amazing. They sent me out. This is a 1.5 ounce beer balm. Nice white texture to it. Now, one thing I will say also about this company that I noticed, their beer balms are extremely soft, extremely buttery, almost like a beer butter. You know, give a little props to my man, Uncle Donnie. He has some very, very creamy butters. And this balm is just like a butter. It's like the same consistency, very, very creamy, almost like a cream cheese but it still gives your beard a little hole that you're looking for. And they also sent me out a beard wash. And this is a four ounce beard wash. Damn, little bubbles and shit. Man. Now this beard wash smells amazing. And like I say, for a company to start off 
basically doing solid colognes or more in the cologne business, you know, the candle business, you know, room sprays, etc., making your house smell good. And they also do beer products, so you already know how they got your beard smelling. Your beard is definitely gonna be smelling on point. You got your young lady coming over or something like that, you definitely get kudos for having this product in your beard. All right, now here are some of the ingredients on the beer bomb. You got your shea butter, your coconut oil, your beeswax, your fractionated coconut oil, jojoba oil, marula oil, argan oil, avocado oil, and fragrance. And again, this is a 1.5 ounce tin. I'm gonna try to show you this texture real quick on this. Very, very soft. I knew it before I even stuck my finger in it. And again, this is the beard oil, and like I said, without that dropper top, just be very careful of how you pour it. If you have additional dropper tops laying around the crib, you know, or maybe when you do order this product, you can ask them to send you a dropper top. It's usually about a dollar extra or something like that, or they might throw it in for free for you. But uh, as you guys can see, you gotta be real careful with this. A yellow type of oil. Not extremely thick. Mm, that smells great. That bay rum, you definitely pick up the spicy notes of the bay rum. Almost a cinnamon, almost a seasonal type of scent. This is definitely a cool product. I will put all the links down below and check out my other review of the Man Shop. You definitely won't be disappointed. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can see if I can give you guys a couple prices real quick before. I send you on your way. Okay, the Bay Beard Balm is 1950. That's the one I did the review on the main squeeze. That one really smells good. And they also have a not a scent as well, which is an unscented. But um, the balm is 1950. The oil is 2450. A little pricey. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to about you know fifteen dollars, ten fifteen dollars, no higher than about twenty. A couple companies, of course, twenty four dollars or whatever. So. I guess it's about standard. I will check also to see if you guys got a couple discount codes that I can give you. And I'll put them down below as well so you guys can save a little buck. But uh, $24.50 for the oil. Um, $19.50 for the balm. And let me see if I see that wash on here. And the wash is $16.50 for four ounces. So that's not bad at all. Yeah, so definitely give this company a try, man. Um, you guys know as always, I, I won't steer you guys wrong. So if you guys like great smelling stuff, this company is definitely coming through with all that. You know, if you want to grab some room sprays for your crib, you want to grab some candles, you want to grab some solid cologne, about to step out, this is definitely a perfect company for all that. All right, guys, so I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. You know what I'm saying? Hope you guys get everything you want underneath your tree. Hopefully your, your woman, your wife, whatever, got you some craft beers under the tree. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys like some craft beers just like me, so. I'm going to get on back to my fish over here, see which one I want to pick out to go ahead and fry. And as always, I want to thank you guys for all the continued support. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. And I'll holler back. Peace. Let me see if you guys can see that. Well, look at them. Look at them. Tilapia. What we got over there? Uh, 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 salmon. Uh, orange Ruffy. Uh, we got it all over there for you. Just come on.